and welcome to Newsfeed. I am Sumaya Abubakar taking you through the stories trending online that people are talking about and sharing around the globe today. Pride allegations, some of your faves are living fake lives, BB Ninja Adekunle tells fans. Tokyo Makinwa robbed in London loses all valuables. Portable laments fuel scarcity as he queues to fill his car tank. And Kanye West to pay Kim Kardashian $200,000 per month in child support as they finalize their divorce. Now, top of what's trending today, we have the big brother Nigeria Adekule who has reacted after fans criticized him for allegedly being prideful. In a newsletter to fans on Wednesday, November 30th, 2022, Adekule alleged that some of his colleagues are living fake lives and warned fans to stop encouraging them. According to him, there is nothing your faith can do that I, Adekunle, cannot do. And there are so many things that I, Adekunle, can do that your faiths cannot do. Some of your faiths are living fake life and you shouldn't be encouraging it, except for birds of the same feather. Every flex the housemates have posted on Mark's and Jack's internet during the trip in South Africa were all sponsored. Don't let anyone use fake life to deceive, to deceive you everything he went on to say please spend your time energy and resources on ensuring that your faiths are well looked after and that life after big brother is everything they happened to be or they hoped to be because who betides who isn't making money but has time for a fight he or she will just be fighting themselves he added going forward i am not talking or i'm not taking the quiet or look away route anymore you know you have hidden secrets that i know if you move anyhow towards me again i won't save face or save you i will expose you now while he never mentioned any name people pointed fingers at the couple Shakes and Bella and their fans came hard for Adekunle. On the other hand, his fans defended him. A fan said, everything Adekunle said in the trend is true. And someone said, the only thing wrong with this newsletter is that your faiths cannot write correctly and you, their stance, cannot read correctly. Another said, this guy has been in his lane. He doesn't look for trouble, but they kept poking him. Even when he didn't mention names, you still came for him. Next on what's trending, we've got Nigerian media personality Tokia Makinwa, who has revealed that she was robbed during her recent visit to London, United Kingdom. The renowned fashionista and on-air personality recounted the incident on her Snapchat stories on Wednesday night, 30th November 2022, where she disclosed that her valuables were stolen. Her post is coming days after another Nigerian celebrity, Yemi Alade, revealed her room was ransacked by armed robbers in Ivory Coast. Tokia said she is still in shock over the robbery she also said she was left speechless because all her valuables were stolen now reacting to the incident someone said london has turned oshodi london is the capital of nigeria someone pointed out why it is important to travel with defense tools because tourists are easily targeted another said lai mohammed warned nigerians traveling abroad to be cautious of thieves but you all dragged him and a lady said, it really hurts to be robbed. Your emotion pays between anger, regrets, and tears. Well, that's so sad. Next on what's trending, we've got controversial singer Habib Omar Ola Lomi Okikiola, better known as Portable, in a viral video has joined many Nigerians in lamenting about the current fuel scarcity issues that bite deep on people. As he waited in a queue at a petrol station in, London, in Lagos, the singer is heard saying that waiting four hours to buy fuel is softness. Take a look. No, for no, for no, for no. Now someone posted, it is how he carries himself for me. Motivate yourself because nobody will. One said, if you are a star, you won't go to the fuel station yourself. And a funny guy posted, when celebrity calls himself celebrity, you know there's a problem. <laughs> Another person said, he's an episode. He wasn't ready for the celebrity life. And lastly, someone said, 
portable trended from December 2021 to December 2022. Don't ask me if it was for good or bad. <laughs> now that was hilarious. Next one was trending. We've got the US-based Nigerian doctor Romel Asagwara, who said Nigerian living abroad should stop spreading fear um, about abroad. This happens after a lot of Nigerians abroad share their different bad experiences while living there. Let's hear it from the horse's mouth. Take a look. Every time I see a post of a Nigerian living in the UK, US, Canada, or any Western world, asking Nigerians living in Nigeria if they still want to migrate over here just because of the cold, it actually irritates the hell out of me. Because I don't know if it's a cruise they're trying to catch or what. All I can say is, between the cold and the social security that we have here, you, which would you choose? We pay a lot of taxes and they're whining about this and whining about that. But we know what the taxes are being used for. There, don't they pay for all of these things? And don't get the value of it? Basic amenities, shelter, food, water, education for their kids. So if you're tired of staying here, just gladly go back home and let the people that want to come here legally do so. Because you know what? We're Nigerians. We're going to do well anywhere we go. Especially in a developed country like here. That's why we're still the most successful black immigrant group in the United States. And there are other Nigerians that are doing very well back home. So if you feel like you want to go home, join them. But stop the fear and stop discouraging people. Nigerians fully supported him. One netizen said, I have finally found a smart Nigerian who lives abroad. And another said, Nigerians in the USA don't do that, only the ones in UK. Another said, this is the only guy saying the truth. Even my uncle that has been in the USA since 2002 is saying otherwise. And another said, they always discourage others, but you will never see them moving back to Nigeria. Well, let's take a short break, and when we come back, you will see how a POS lady went raging mad after losing her money. Stay tuned. Welcome back. It's News Feed. A female POS operator raises alarm after she was scammed, where the 1,000 Naira notes she received from a customer mysteriously turned to something else after he left. This happened in Awichi Edo State. Now the distraught lady can be heard expressing her pains in a video as she explained her predicament to onlookers who cared to listen. Take a look. A guy said, we blame government, but we, the average citizens, are wicked. Another said, it's not Juju. Your money did not change. He was smart to change it. And a lady said, POS people are suffering. Why are people like this? The country is hard already. Someone else posted, a lot of Nigerians are dishonest in everything. The reason most of us in diaspora suffer from Westerners because they think we are all dubious. Next on what's got people talking is the students who threaten protests over school fees hike. Now, students of the University of Nigeria, Nsuka, have expressed outrage on social media after the management of the institution increased their fees. According to a breakdown of the new fees seen by the students on Thursday, UNN students are now to pay between 83,000 Naira and 120,650 Naira as against the previous amounts of between 
40,000 Naira and 95,000 Naira. The new fees for various faculties were contained in a document titled Proposed Schedule of Undergraduate Consolidated Service Charges for 2022 to 2023 session, now uploaded to the university website. The students took to Twitter to share their shock and fury at the development. One tweet said, the bad economic situation is bad. Why increase the fees? A lady said, after staying months at home, exams was rushed and now this. And another lady tweeted, what about some of us who are struggling to pay our way through school? Someone else pointed out that the school fees has doubled. And lastly, one complained, how can school fees increase like this in a federal university? Well, it's so sad. Next on what's got people talking, we have a Nigerian lady who lives in the United Kingdom who shared her plight in a trending video lamenting that it's impossible to put a call through to her people back in Nigeria without her getting anxious. She urged people living in Nigeria who have families abroad to do better. Take a look. Seriously, guys, you can't be jolly when that this thing is happening to you. You cannot even say hello to your people in Nigeria, friends, family. The next thing is Billy. Why? Oh, more, it's not easy here, too. Mention the late night shift. See my face. Very rough. I don't understand. You cannot even hold a conversation without them saying that financially, whatever, whatever. I should pay. You know what, Jali? You guys should just take it easy. Please, take it easy. In fact, to call to call anybody, say, phone me like these days. Because the next thing is Billy. Ah. Now, some netizens came for her while others defended her. One said Abuja and Lagos people face the same. And another said UK people talk too much this year. <laughs> One attacked her by saying build people around you and the billing will reduce. And another said even people in Nigeria face that. Post a little about your lifestyle and requests start coming in. A guy said, it's bad sometimes. Your family and friends abroad just want to have conversations with you. But you ruin it when you start asking for money. Ooh, well, that's harsh. <laughs> Next on what's trending, we have Kanye West, who has been asked by the court to pay Kim Kardashian $200,000 per month in child support as they finalize their divorce. The reality TV star Kim Kardashian filed for divorce from the rapper Kanye West on February 2021 after seven years of marriage. And it's taken nearly two years for Kanye to cooperate. But they have finally settled their divorce. According to the settlement, Kim and Kanye will get joint custody Custody with equal access to their four children. Although the document says equal access, sources with direct knowledge say that the children will spend the majority of their time with Kim. Kanye is responsible for 50% of their kids' educational expenses, including tuition and also 50% of their children's security expenses. Also, if there is ever a dispute regarding the children, Kim and Kanye agreed they will participate in mediation. If one of them fails to participate, the other gets to make decision in the dispute by default. As for the $200,000, it is due the first day of each month and must be wired into her account. For the property, the division of the asset is in accordance with their prenup. And according to the prenup, both Kim and Kanye waived spousal support. However, Kim is making up with something even bigger and more expensive. You may recall that during their tumultuous divorce, the rap star bought a house directly next to Kim's six million dollars hidden hills mansion well turns out kanye has generously gifted his ex-wife the five-bedroom house worth 4.5 million dollars and trust netizens to have different opinion one said there wouldn't be kardashians family without the mention of divorce benefits and entitlements another said for the lifestyle they have it is a fair deal and someone said Tom Cruise pays $400,000 for one child. Kanye is getting a fair deal for four kids. And lastly, on funny video, we have a bear who was feeling left out and had to make, take matters into his own hands. Take a look. Huh? <laughs> He's like, I'm over here. Throw me a piece of salmon too. <laughs> Such a smart fella. Well, that is all on News Feed today. Follow us and subscribe to all our social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Bye.